All right, people, Mr. Wright here again with lesson seven for the trombone. In this lesson, we'll be learning about eighth notes, uh, how they're twice as fast as a quarter note. We'll also be working on and understanding what a downbeat is and an upbeat. So important for uh, reading and also uh, reading notation. Also, we'll be talking about what a crescendo is. It's this little symbol right here. For instance, at the bottom of the page, we'll start the note. This what we'll do every time we see this, we'll start soft and crescendo by blowing faster air. Uh, so we'll just get louder right there. But that's what that's all about. So um, this is pretty much a review exercise number one, getting that E natural tuned up to where we just drop the slide just a little bit. And we're going to play this not at 80 beats per minute, but we're going to play it at 90 beats per minute to kind of make it flow a little bit faster. So the quarter note will get 90 beats per minute. So let me unlock my trombone slide. And I'll get the, um, the metronome going here. And so it'd be like, da, 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 rest, rest, da, 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 rest, rest, da, 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 da. And I've also recorded a backing track that you can practice with without all the talking, without me talking and explaining things. So you'll just be able to practice lesson seven over and over with some drums and some strings in the background and make it sound kind of cool. So, but here's number one. One, two, three. That's lesson, uh, exercise number one. Now, number two, we start off with quarter notes on these down beats, and that's what these arrows represent. But right here, you have two little eighth notes that take place in the, the same time that a quarter note would take place. We basically cut the beat in half. And if you hear a motor running in the background, that's my next door neighbor. He's a mechanic. He's working on an engine over there. So hopefully you won't be too distracted by that. But these are two eighth notes. Notice that little bar that's joining the two together. And the way you perform this, you go deed up, two, three, four. See these two eighth notes, they occur in one beat. It's like the first half of the beat is the down beat. The second half of the beat is the up beat. So it would be like deed up. Notice this is like when you would tap your foot. And right here, this little upward arrow is when your foot comes to its highest place. Like one, two, three, four, one, and right? So you got to know where these upbeats are in relation to the downbeats. And uh, so it's one, two, three, four, three, dump, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, like so. Um, so let me just play that for you. And hopefully that will make sense. So this is just the upbeat right on the little strip number two now. And oh, one, to number two. All right, that was number two. Now, the same thing down here in number three, except in sh instead of showing you these little downbeats and upbeat arrow things like that, I show you how to count it, right? So this is one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, and two. So this is one and, right? So I think you get the idea of how it, because it's it kind of pretty much the same thing. So let's try number three now. Ready? And one, two, three. Number four, 
and you would always say that this little plus sign, you'd always say and, one and. Now, let's do number four right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, one, and two, three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. So let's try that one. Number four. And one, two, three. quarter note on beat one, then two eighth notes dividing up beat two. So it's one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, one, and two, three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So right here this one's a little bit tricky because you're doing different little eighth notes and sometimes just a quarter note and you're having to count these beats of rest these quarter notes right there quarter note rest i should say so let's try number five this one might uh, trip you up a little bit but that's okay just get the download the backing track and practice along with it or watch this tutorial again on this section just rewind the little little thingy <laughs> number five ready and oh one two three you'll hear that i made a little mistake i almost came in on something i think it's right here i should have rested right there i was thinking about something else um, I was thinking about, am I playing too loud and distorting the microphone? So, but uh, let's go on now to number, should be a number six down here. Sorry about that. But uh, we start off this low B flat where you relax your lips away from the teeth. Ta -da -da. You'll firm up your lips to go up here. And we also want to crescendo and push faster air. So let me play just this first little part. It'll go. Right? I got louder as I headed to this. And you don't want to take a breath right before these two notes right there. You want to lead right into it. Drive this note into these two little eighth notes right there. So uh, let's try this last exercise, number six it would be. Ready? And oh, one, two, ready. Two, three. So that gives you an idea as to how this lesson goes. Like I said, download the backing track and practice lesson seven to where you can read all these different rhythms really well.